Greetings everyone. Um, I just thought I'd just do a quick vlog, you know, because this week there seems to be an interesting week in Birmingham whereby we've had two fatalities in one week. Um, I'd just like to say um, condolences to Azim, Azam and Depp's man and the family that are going through that grieving and that behind the scenes pain. Um, I just feel like it's very interesting in it because when you look on Twitter and you look on social media, you know, everyone starts to do their RIPs, which is the right thing to do. But I just want to challenge this generation in terms of what we're using our talents and gifts to do. I'm very clear that in our tongue, there's either death or life. And what you choose to do with your tongue in terms of making lyrics and the things we talk about, you're either creating death or life. And I think that we need a proper transformation and trans you know just you need a change man because it's all good we say r.i.p and we feel sad for a bit but we need to stop pushing and hyping up all the tunes that are always talking about yeah shanking a man and shooting a man because this is what happens this is reality and now we have a generation that are growing up believing that badness and madness is the thing and it's the in thing and i'm here to say that's not it's not you know We've all made mistakes in the past, but we don't have to stay in our mistakes. And I believe that as a generation, the urban inner city generation, that we can do better. And I just want to say, you know what, on behalf of the organisation that I'm working with, um, that is bringing hope, I just want to say condolences. And I want to say to the families and the friends that are affected by this, that our thoughts are with you and our prayers are with you. And for those who are just thinking, what is going on? It is bad and it is sad but you know let's use our tongues to speak life let's speak about positivity for those who are gifted and talented let's use those gifts and talents to promote and push out positive images about ourselves and about our community and about the lives that we've lived yes it's been hard and yes it's been a struggle but we don't have to stay there so i'm just going to say a quick word of prayer just on behalf of the families and friends that are going through bereavement on both family sides um, and you can just join with me and all i'm going to say is quickly is Dear Lord, um, I'm, I'm really touched, Lord, by what I'm hearing within the community. Once again, death has happened. But I pray, Father God, that you will just bring comfort to both families now, Lord, who are going through the bereavement, are going through the pain of knowing that their sons, their brother, their friends are no longer here. I pray, God, that somehow you will convict this generation to fix up to do better because we can do better. I pray for all families, for all nations, tribes, faiths, beliefs, non-beliefs, but I pray God that you will help us, Lord, as a community to do better. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name, and I pray for everyone, that everyone will make better decisions from this day forward. Help us as a community, rest in peace to the families, to the guys who are deceased.